YouTube. Man, what's good with y'all? You already know who's back in the building, man. It's your boy. Not out of swole. Not out of chosen one. Not out of glow. You know what I'm saying? I'm back with another banger. Shout out to the new subscribers. 15,000 subscribers. We real close. We real, real, real close, man. God is so good, bro. 15,000 subscribers, man. I appreciate every single one of y'all showing love and support towards my channel. You know, I have a lot of y'all saying, Nana, what is the key, you know, to being successful on YouTube? What is this? What is that? What I can really tell y'all, bro, is consistency, man. You got to be consistent with whatever you do in life. You will see results. The more consistent you are in life, you will see results. I'm telling you, bro, you can't go wrong with consistency. You, you can't go. I'm going to say that again. You can't go wrong with consistency. Whatever y'all want to succeed at in your life, stay consistent. It, it, it will happen. It will happen, y'all. Consistency is very important. People sleep on that. You know, people sleep on consistency. They don't think it works. They think, oh, you're going to burn out. I don't burn out. People are like, oh, YouTube is too stressful. You're going to burn out of content to make. I'm a content creator for a reason. I'm not never going to run out of content content creating that's that's impossible to me i can make videos every single day and i would never burn out because there's so many things this world needs to know about the truth i'm going to talk about porn again you know y'all keep y'all probably wonder why i keep talking about porn why i keep bringing this up because this is something that a lot of people have to cut out their lives it is destroying your life when you watch porn you know i, I remember how i used to view life when i was watching porn um, I, first of all, I used to view women as, as objects, you know, I didn't view women as beautiful creatures. I didn't view women as human beings like myself. I viewed them like objects that I just wanted to stick my dick and stick in. If, if I'm being real, that when I used to watch pornography, that is exactly how I used to think the men who still watch it to this day. That's how they think. You know, I observe people when I'm on YouTube, man. You know, the way the way the men talk, the way they, they, they treat women, I observe all of that. And I can tell a huge difference from a man who's watching those sites, those websites, to a man who's retaining. When you are watching porn, it is a fake reality you're living in. You can't see the, the, the world like it is. You don't see this real world for what it is. You're, you're living in this fake reality, you know, of looking at women as objects. Everything is about lust for a man who's you know in his lust he hasn't he has no self-control all he thinks about is is uh fornicating with women and this may even go for some women too you know she probably watches pornography she probably uses dildos she probably touches herself this goes to show you you know it's not just men who struggle with watching those type of websites females go sh struggle with that as well females go through that as well and it also does something to their brain it messes them up you know um, they're brain wise, physically, spiritually, emotionally. They're all, they're all like messed up. Same goes for men. The more you watch porn, the more you're messing up your brain. Your brain is not used to watching all those websites, man. I'm telling y'all, bro. That's that fake dopamine. F porn is fake. It's not real. You know, I'm retaining, bro. I'm about to hit 80 days and, and I have no desire. Listen to me, y'all. The longer you go, you're going to have no desire to watch those things no more. You know, it comes to a point where when, when you have been doing such things in your life and you come to repentance to God about it, you know, especially, you know, probably you're watching websites like myself. I used to watch porn back in the day. Um, me repenting from that, me not going back to that. You know, I have I have confessed out of my mouth and accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. And I asked him to forgive me. And I repented from doing those old things I used to do because I don't want to go back to it, man. The, the, the real reason why we must repent is because we don't want to go back to what we used to do. Repentance, that's what it's about. If you repent, your intention should be not going back to doing those old acts because it's wicked. You know, you can't see the real world when you're watching porn. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you may think I'm crazy. You may think, oh, what is this guy talking about? I know what I'm talking about. I have been on streaks of semen retention, no fap, and monk mode on and off throughout two for two years now. Since I was 17, I'm 19 now. I know exactly how people who watch porn, how they view life. Because I used to be the same way. I used to view life. It was so life was so dull. Like I used to look at life so dull. It wasn't rich. 
you know, I didn't have no life force within me. So I wasn't excited. My mood was not, I wasn't happy in life. I was always at this, this low doll state. I was looking at life the same way because that's how I felt within myself. That is exactly how I felt within. I was looking at life the same way I felt inside myself. Dull, depressed, no life force. I wasn't happy. I'm telling you, bro, it's demonic. It's so demonic. And if you are still watching it, man, you got to repent or you will likewise perish. It says it in the book of Luke, in the word of God, in the Bible, you must repent. If you are still struggling with porn, you know, you're not alone. This is why I've created such a community. By the way, if you're not in my Discord, join the Discord. I will put it in the description down below and I will put it in the comments and I will pin it. Follow my new channel as well. Subscribe to my new channel. I'm dropping a video for it today on how to build credit, how to you know build your credit up so that you can live a better life in this world. Because you know, as you know, in, in America, if you have good credit, you can get nice things, man. You really can. But I'm going to be teaching you how to do that on my second channel. Make sure you subscribe. It will be in the description down below. This is why I've built such a community for y'all so that you can talk to people who are just like you, who have been through the same experiences like you, who have probably the, in the past, they were struggling with pornography addictions. Um, they were struggling with, you know, just just being a lustful man or even a lustful woman, you know, because I got some women in my ser some women in my service as well. So if you're a woman watching this and you need some help, you need another female who's just like you, join my server, my Discord. It's free. You're not paying nothing to join my server. I'm building a community for y'all so you can be around like-minded people. This is why I made that server, bro. We need more people like myself. We need more people who are just like each other. This is how we can grow because iron sharpens iron. Like the word of God tells us, iron will sharpen iron the more we are edifying each other we can help grow other people as well facts bro porn is so deluded man it is it's so filthy you know because if you look at the truth behind porn if you've watched those people people who expose what porn really is even those actresses the actors and actresses of pornography they come out and say what they've been going through you know for, from what porn has done to their lives and it's destroyed them it's destroyed them mentally, physically, spiritually. You may think, oh, she, 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 uh, him or her, whatever. They like what they're doing on that, on that website. They don't like what they're doing. It's just because they're getting money out of it. That is why they like it. But who, who wants to get put, who wants to really, let's sit there and question this. Who really wants to be put through that type of situation of what these actors, actresses and actors do on, on, on the hub? Or these other filthy websites. Who really want? Who's a who's a good thinking human being will want to really go through that every single day? If they're not getting big bucks, they won't do that. This is what the devil does. He 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 puts money into people's faces to do the wicked things. He does, bro. This is what the devil uses to get many many souls to do the work of you know for him to work for him, bro. They're going through so much when the cameras are off. Those actors and actresses, bro, it, it, it's raps. They're dealing with, you know, um, conviction because it, we've been in our heart and in our mind and our soul, bro. God's law is written in us. We, we, we know what is right. You know, God is already, it even says it in the word of God. I don't remember what verse somebody would probably put in the comment section. I appreciate you, but it says God has written the law in our hearts and our mind and our soul. We know what is right. We truly deep down know because God has written this law, his law inside of us. We know what is right. So when those cameras are off, they feel bad. Of course they do. You think they, you think they're happy? They may, they, on camera, they may make it seem like they're happy. When the cameras are off, they are going through it spiritually. Don't ever be fooled, y'all. We are living in a spiritual world. We are living in a spiritual world, bro. People who do wicked things, there is, it even says it in the Bible. I'm going to bring another Bible verse. There is no peace for the wicked. And those actors and actresses, they're wicked. So why would God give them peace? There is no peace for the wicked. So don't be deluded. Don't think, oh, she's better than me. He's better than me. Man, look. <laughs> it's so sad man it's very sad how people have come to normalize websites like that they've come to normalize watching such things the bro there, there's some crazy 
things that people do on those websites, bro. It's crazy things. You will find the most weird, foul, um, you know, just, just, just dehumanizing things on these type of websites. You will see it. You know, what I used to be back in the day, man, it's like you, you, you also grow an attachment to watching such things. You grow an attachment to watching porn. Real talk. You grow an attachment to it, bro. This is why most men are still struggling with it because they grow attachments. They grow so ties. You know, it's, it's weird, but it's the truth. Somebody will know what I'm talking about. You grow, you grow like this type of this, this, this attachment to, to the act, the actress, the, the porn actress. You do. This is what happens, bro. That used to be me back in the day. You know, you have that. We, we all had that one star that we used to watch when I'm not here to sugarcoat. I'm not here to be funny. It's just facts. We all had that one person we go to back in the day when we used to watch such things for real. And that's bad because that, you're building a soul tie with that person. You don't even know the person. You, you, you're just building it, you know, on the Internet. That is weird. And I don't understand why people don't find it weird to be watching two others, two people going at it and you're touching yourself to that. How is that not weird? I don't understand society, bro. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. The more you watch such things, you will never see life for what it is, man. You will never understand the truth because some people even think that that's real uh, intercourse. People think that's how you be intimate. Do they watch porn and they think that's how real sex is supposed to be? No, it is fake. They're doing it to, to, to rob you from your essence, fellas. Real talk. This is why it's being promoted. You got to wake up and see it. They're doing this to take your essence away from you. They're doing this to demasculate you, to make you not masculine as a man. And if you don't see it, bro, you're going to keep spilling your seed. You're going to keep going back to those websites, man. You know, it, it makes me mad, bro. You know, that that the fact that they're making money off of you basically killing yourself. You know, for lack of better words, that's what it is. Because when you keep releasing, bro, you, you, you go into this depressive state. You're going you're going to get anxiety. You're not going to have peace in this life when you keep doing such acts, bro. You're not. This is why they're making big bucks. Because men cannot control their lust. They can't. Some women can't control their lust. They can't either. You know, but it's harder for a man to control his lust. All this testosterone that we have within us, it, it makes us more, you know, like we want to conquer. We just, we, it's, like, it's like, it's not an excuse to go watch porn. No. I'm just saying, as a man, it's harder to conquer your lust because of our, our, our uh, re, uh, what is it? I forgot what it's called. Our primal instincts, you know, to procreate. We just, we just want to procreate. We want to create a life. This is what we are, we're, we're here to do, to be fruitful and multiply, make children so that, you know, your kids can grow up, take care of you, all of that. Multiply, multiply. God wants us to do this. God wants you to have children. God wants you to procreate. He does, but not in the way of fornication, not in the way of even watching porn by spilling your seed that you're not creating life by doing that. You are wasting life. Remember that, bro. The more you watch porn and release, you are wasting life. Those are kids that you are literally. I'm not even going to say it, bro, because it's so messed up. It, it, it's so wicked, bro. It, it's it's really wicked, bro. Like me just sitting back and thinking about it, man. You know, all these thoughts normally tend to come to my head when I'm, you know, thinking about videos to make. You know, the, the, the things I used to do in the past, bro. It all pops up right back in my head, man. You know, all the creative ideas I have, you know, to make videos about. <laughs> now, when you retain, look at how you look at life. So beautiful. So rich. Your mood is way better. You're way happier when you start practicing retention. When you start practicing no fab. When you start, you know, chasing God and, and not chasing pleasure. Everything becomes just so, so, so beautiful. 4K. I'm looking at life right now in 4K. Damn near 8K. Do they even have 8K? I don't know, but guess what? We creating that. We retaining our seed. We got that glow. Hey, yeah, we got that seed. Hey, yeah. <laughs> Bro, stop watching pornography, man. You're not going to see reality 
for the way it truly is. You're not going to see the real life things. You're not going to see the real beauty in life the more you keep watching pornography. You will never see the beauty in life. Fellas, if you keep watching porn, you're never even going to see the beauty in women. You're not. You're going to look at women um, like objects. You know, you have certain content creators who literally say out their mouths, oh, you, he, he'd be talking to women. He'd be like, you're an object, you're an object. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with you? And I'm like, oh, okay, I understand why he's saying that. He watches too much porn. He even says it. He watches too much porn. This is why he looks at women like objects. And why is that the case? Why as, why as a man, why are you supposed to look at a woman like an object? They are humans just like you, bro. Why are we looking at them like objects, bro? That's not right. It's not right at all, man. And until men realize that, you know, that power that they keep releasing is destroying their lives, nothing will get better, bro. If men don't take their power back, women will continue to act the way they act. Because you guys don't understand, fellas. Subconsciously, women, they, they look up to, to men. What, normally, what they do is to attract you as a man. The way they look good, they want to look good, they want to wear the makeup, you know, they subconsciously do things to attract a man. So so if she can't even see you as a leader, of course she's going to act weird towards you. She's not going to respect you. She's going to be cussing you out because you can't respect yourself and she can tell. It's so crazy how when you retain women, you just know that women are very smart. You start to realize women are very intuitive. They're very smart. They really are. They can tell when a man is cooming. They can just tell, bro. They can tell when you're not confident by the way you're standing, the way you speak, your demeanor, your aura, everything. It's like women are just these creatures who understand how to attract a mate subconsciously. They know how to do it, bro. We can do it too, fellas. You know, when you retain, you know, your, your masculine um, aura enhances, your intuition enhances, the spirit of discernment. That's a gift from God. If you want that, ask God to give it to you. But me, I have the spirit of discernment. I can discern a woman if she's feminine. I can just feel it. It's like it's like a, it's like a superpower, you know. You can just feel when a woman is feminine. You just you you gonna know straight off the bat. You gonna know, especially when you are retaining this potent seed. You gonna know. This is a banger video, man. Make sure y'all leave a like for your boy. And comment down below. Retain gang if you with me. Retain gang if you with me. Not not all swole, <laughs> man. Oh man. I'm a key preacher. I'm a key preacher. We're going to blow up. 20,000 subscribers, 50,000 subscribers, and that 100K plaque. Woo, none of the 100K plaque? None of the plaque? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Make sure y'all like this video, man. Share my content, too. Let your brothers and sisters know they need to stop watching pornography. They need to stop watching such things, man. It is depleting them. They're, they're depleting themselves. They are literally losing their value. The more they watch porn, you are losing your value. You will also never see the the, 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 the beauty in life. You're going to look at everything so negative when you're watching porn. I'm telling you, you will. The more, bro, when I used to watch porn back in the day, I, I looked at everything like in a negative type of, uh, of view. I, I used to make everything negative. But now since I'm retaining, I see the positive in life. Every, every situation I go through, I don't care what it is, bad or good, I see the positives, man. That's such a blessing, bro. That's such a blessing to see the positive in life. This is going to make your life run smoother. This is going to make you feel happy about life. It's, it's, it's very sad, bro. It's very sad how porn has come to be normalized in our world, man. And people don't see that there's something wrong with it. Watching two others go at it on a screen and you, you, you choking your chicken to it or y'all females using dildos to it is not okay. It's not okay, bro. It, it, it makes me sick to the stomach, you know, when I see such such acts, you know, being praised, such acts just being watched. You know, it makes me sick to my stomach. It really does. Back then, I didn't I, back then. I never had that sick to my stomach feeling when people used to talk about porn. They watch it. I, ne I never cared because I was doing it myself. But now since I'm out of that, those wicked things, God has, you know, saved me from doing such acts. It's, it's, it makes me really sick to the stomach, bro. And this is why I'm here to help others get that type of feeling. Get, getting sick to the stomach when they even hear about porn. It makes me so sick because it's, it's nasty. You know, those are demons that you are watching. Those two people are demonic people that you are watching. 
You wonder why when you're done watching it, you feel so low, depressed, anxiety, you feel scared, fear. So many weird emotions start coming upon you when you watch those scenes. After you're done, realize, after you're done releasing, you realize that it, it, you, you question yourself, why did I even do that? It wasn't worth it. Because it, it, it's not. We're not supposed to do that, bro. When are y'all going to learn? When are y'all going to learn, bro? <laughs> I'm sorry, bro, but I'm just so passionate about what I talk about, bro. People need to learn. It's not okay. You know, you have some people, you know, trying to sugarcoat it and say, oh, you know, you, you can retain for a oh, go 30 days and then uh, watching porn, uh, you know, once, two, three times a week is okay. No, it's not okay. Yes, I'm that content creator who's going to tell y'all, no, that is not okay. Cut it out of your life completely. Why are you? Why, why do you want to watch that? Why do you want to watch two people fornicate? Why? <laughs> like, 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 I don't understand, bro, why people try to sugarcoat things when they talk about it in their videos. Oh, it's okay to watch it once a week, twice a week. It's not okay at all. Stop trying to, you know, tickle people's ears with that BS, bro. That's BS. It is hurting people's lives, bro, by watching those type of things. It's hurting people. Damn near even killing people, bro. I heard a man lost his life from fapping too much. Like, why is that the case? Why are you losing your life to fapping? That is not even funny. That's not a joke. That's not that. that, that, that that's just senseless, bro. It makes no sense. You should not lose your life over fapping. What? 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 Oh, man, bro. Man, look, if you're new to my channel, you can tell that I'm really passionate about what I do. You can tell the way I don't edit my videos. I speak from the heart. I come on here every single day to help people realize the truth, to help people know that the world that we live in, man, some things that they've normalized, it's just too wicked, bro. And it's not going to get it's not going to guarantee you a ticket to heaven. You're not going to go to heaven and watch pornography all, all days of your life. You're not. Repent. I love y'all, man. Repent. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. He can save you. I can only lead you. You know, it, well, there's a good old saying saying that you can take the horse to water, you know, to, to that to the pond of water, but you you can't force the you can't force the horse to drink the water. You can't force feed. The, <laughs> I, I, I just studied my fault. You can't force the horse to drink that water if you, even if you take it to the water. You can only lead it to the water. This is what I'm doing to you. I'm leading you out to Jesus. You are the only one who can accept him out of your mouth as your Lord and Savior. I'm just leading you because I'm, I've been, I've been, I've been, um, I'm being used by God. The spirit of God is within me. So I'm, I'm using my platform. God is using my platform to push you guys to him. Every day I'm making videos. This is to push you closer to him every day. This is what I'm doing. And if you don't realize it yet, you got to you, listen to my messages, man. Sit down and watch none of the souls videos to the end. I'm a genuine guy, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care about the views. I don't care about the money. I run it. I want to help people. I want to see everybody win. I want to be, I want to walk around in this world and just see everybody retaining. Everybody's just in a positive mood. That's what I want to see. Real talk. If you with me, man, like this video up, comment down below. Follow my socials, IG, TikTok, Twitter, whatever. Everything will be in the description down below. You know, I barely go on Twitter. I might start actually making a Twitter and posting my videos on there. Who knows? But on TikTok, I have a couple videos I posted on there. Make sure y'all follow my TikTok as well because I'm going to go big, bro. I don't care how long it takes me. You, I, I just want you to realize that Nana La Soul will go big. This is a 25-minute video. This is the longest private video I've ever made. I don't know. But I'm going to go big. If you're watching to the end, you're going to see Nana La Soul go big. You will see me go big. You will. Because I've been doing this for way too long. You know, I've been doing this for way too long. The, the, the amount of progress I've made, is, 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 it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Stay consistent, y'all. I love y'all, bro. Another video is about to drop for y'all. I'm not done making videos. Nope, I'm not done. I need to keep putting people on game. I need to keep people letting know porn is not the way to go. The more you watch it, you're not going to see life. You're not going to see the beauty in life. You're not going to see nothing good in your life the more you watch porn. Bad things will keep happening to you. You're going to keep questioning God. But God, this is God throwing you signs. Hey, my child, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. But you are not waking up. You are not realizing what is happening to you. Bro, what the heck?
Why does people just, it's so weird. You be making videos, dudes just walk right beside your car like they about to open it. What, what, what was that? So weird, bro. I'm going to end the video here, y'all. That, that kind of like shook me a little bit. Like, why is he so, why was he so close to the car? Gosh, bro. <laughs> I'm sorry, bro. That, that, that just like kind of like, I'm like, whoa. Do I open my door? <laughs> like, comment, share, and subscribe, man. I love y'all, bro. Let's keep pushing. I'm out. <laughs>